guys, it's Camila, and welcome to another week's video! So, today we are talking about organization. Organ what? Confession time, I am definitely the least organized person ever. I struggle with organization every day. For those of you who do not know, I have ADHD. Which means that basically I cannot focus and my executive functioning skills like time management, organization, remembering things are really off the walls. I thought I would try to change up my schedule and my life and try to be more organized and I have to say it's really really hard but it really makes my life so much easier. I don't feel as stressed out, I feel like I can get places more on time, and overall I just have an easier time living my life. So today I thought I would share some of my organization tips so that you can also get your life together. Number one, plan ahead slash think ahead. See this? This is your new best friend. An agenda is a great thing to have. I personally never used this, but I just started using it. You can write down school assignments, you can write down things that you want to get done, your goals for the week, all of that good stuff. Make sure though to put your agenda or your planner in a place where you will see it. I put it on my refrigerator because I love to eat. Put it in a place where you can see it. It could be maybe on your room door, it could be in a mirror, it could be just anywhere. I have started to downsize on my wardrobe so I just have key pieces that I know can go well with everything else that I own and it's super duper easy to get ready in the morning. Also, if you carry around a purse or a bag, it's a great thing to go through your bag weekly, throw out things that you don't need. I see you gum wrappers. Any kind of garbage slash trash that you do not need. Number two. Set alarms, set reminders on your phone. Also, set your clock 10 minutes for forward, not forward, <laughs> forward. I am a perpetually late person. It's really hard for me to get to places on time. I struggle with this a lot. And so actually having reminders on your phone and setting alarms is a great thing. So for instance, if I need to take like medication throughout the day, I will set an alarm. Birthdays, I have reminders for everything, literally everything I have a reminder for on my phone. Or else I would just not do anything or accomplish anything. If you don't want to use your phone or you're not around your phone a lot, it's a great idea to use post-its or just pieces of paper throughout the house to remind you to do the dishes, to do your chores, do your homework, whatever it is. I promise it looks really weird, you look like a crazy person, but at least you will be a crazy person that is organized. As I said, setting your phone at 10 minutes, 5 minutes, even 3 minutes ahead helps you get places on time, helps you do things more on time if you struggle with being late. So I've set my phone 10 minutes forward. Yes, that is Ricky Martin on my phone. That's not because I have a picture of him, it's because I'm listening to his music, just FYI. It says 325, it's actually 315, but I don't need to know that. And number three, I lose things all the time, guys. Everywhere I go, I probably leave something, like some kind of mark that I, Camila, have been there, and it's so bad. First of all, is downsizing is a great way if you have clothes or things, books that you don't read, things that you don't use, it's a great way to give back to the community, donate to charity, help a friend out. It's a wonderful thing to do at least a few times a year. And once you have less things, you're going to pay more attention to them and you're going to take better care of them. So you're not going to leave them everywhere. Think about having places slash homes for things like putting your books in your bookcase. I know that might sound like super Captain Obvious, but I don't do it sometimes. Like my room three months ago, I had books all over the floor. It was a wreck. No one could walk. Someone broke a leg. It was really bad. So just create spaces for things have like bins for organization, have a place for everything so that you know where everything is and if you need something quickly you can just go and get it. No broken legs involved. <laughs> so that is it for today's video. Thank you so so much for watching. Leave your comments down below telling me ways that you like to stay organized and tips that you've learned and maybe struggles of organization that you also face because we're all learning. And I will see you guys next week with another video. 